Okay, we're in problem number 41. Let me write it down for you. Minus 21x squared uh, minus 41x and then minus 10. Uh, what I'd recommend here is factor out the uh, negative. Uh, I'm going to say minus 1. And we're left there, you're left with, uh, let's see, 21x squared. Let's see, plus 41x. And then you're left with plus 10. I'm going to use the AC rule. Um, let's write this down. So 21 times 10. And what's that going to be? 210. I need to find two numbers that multiply to 210, but add up to 41. The grand is still a struggle. I mean, so someone says, yeah, I don't know what to start with. Well, you can start with the obvious. I mean, 210, you could start with 10 and 21. Right, you could do that. You could do, uh, let's see, uh, 7 and 30. All right. Let's see. You could do, I'm going to do 35 and 6. I'll just look at these numbers, by the way. 30, I said 6 and 5. I gave the 5 to the 7. That looks like a good one there. I'll write that down for you. 6 and 35. 6 times 35 is 210. And 6 plus 35 is 41. I'm ready to rewrite this problem over here. Minus 1 times... And what do you get there? You get 21x squared. I'm going to break the 41 into those two terms, by the way. So I'm going to say 6x plus 35x, which is 41, by the way, plus 10. All right, let me have my eraser out. Let me start to erase this business over here. I'm kind of done with that. Again, some students actually do that in your head. Now, I, I don't recommend doing things in your head. I recommend writing things down, including you have to erase them or scratch them out. But I think I'm ready to start to factor now. Minus 1. I'm going to group these two over here. And I say 3x. We left off of there. 7x, right, plus 2. 3x times 7x is going to be uh, 21x squared. And 3x times 2 is 6x. So the next pair is over here. I say 5. What do you get there? 7x plus 2. <coughs> Minus 1. And I'm ready to factor what's on the inside of that, that square bracket over there. 7x plus 2. And 3x plus 5. What does this give you? Minus 7x plus 2. 3x plus 5. All right. My recommendation, certainly if you were exam, I would multiply it out to make sure it's true. But, um, you know, one thing you do, especially if you're, you're pressed for time, is just look at the answer key. And I'm looking at it now. I just have it in my possession. 7x plus 2, 3x plus 5. Again, if it's an exam question, I, I think I'd multiply it out. Let's go through that. 7x times 3x, 21x squared. Then you get 35x. Then you get 6x. And you get 10. And if you did that, you get minus 21x squared. This is a check. 35 and 6 is 41. So you get minus 41x. And I get minus 10. Do we get back what we, what we started with? And we do. And that's what's the important thing, is the factorizations are going to give us back what we expected. Thank you.